So welcome again, Shantam fam. We are back with Raymond, the motivational speaker and the businessman. You know what? He has to claim that name because he has given Tam and I so much hope just listening to him today. So we're back again, just waiting to hear some more important information from Raymond. So Raymond, welcome again to the show. And Raymond, you mentioned something earlier as you began to speak about this, that um, you help your clients. Like how do you support someone mm-hmm. who, you know, might think they're not in the, the, the right place or might think it's not a good time? How do you actually support your clients towards the home ownership? Um, All right. Um, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a, a saying that knowledge is power. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. but I, I beg to disagree. Okay, tell us. <laughs> <laughs> I beg to disagree. Knowledge is only potential power. Mm-hmm. Okay. I can tell you, if, if knowledge was power, all the librarians in the world would be multimillionaires. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Make sense? Yes, yes. yes. What I try, the first thing I do is I, 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 I educate people because when you know what you're doing, it builds your level of confidence. Mm-hmm. and trust so you try to educate person but even if you educate them if they do nothing about the education they have is only potential mm-hmm. right. until you act on the knowledge you have the knowledge doesn't become power you see everybody with this yes mm-hmm. that is the mentality so what i do as much as i can i i do um seminars just thursday night i was on a first time by a seminar with one of our churches in, in Toronto, and the, there was about 40 young people on it. I was so happy to see them. Okay. Yes. 10 o'clock and 10 30 were still, and they were asking questions, and I loved it. Mm-hmm. Right. So I, we do that. I have mortgage brokers that um, I work with. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they can do creative financing, mm-hmm. the details of some of these things, but sometimes they're creative finan- financing, and we have a legal team that we work with. And but the thing about it, there are people out there who, or who can purchase, but they don't know because they're, once again, they listen to their uncle. Yes. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. So, so for me and for my clients, and, and you'll know, I'm a phone call away, I'm a text away, if I'm busy, I say I call you back, whatever. When life happens and, you know, but eventually we try to get back to you, educate you, and let me show you. If you need to hold your hand through the process, we do that. Right. Yes. Right? So we try our best to help people to understand the system, understand the process, right. and then through the process to help them take into home ownership. Oh. Mm, that's good. That's amazing. And and you have to go to the expert, right? right? I like what you said. You can't take advice from every and everybody. Mm-hmm. And one of the things that I hold strongly, not everybody has the right to speak into your life. So yeah. you have to take advice from the exactly. experts. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Right, there is a lot of um there's a lot in the media right now mm-hmm. like every i think almost every other day you turn on the tv you're hearing oh <laughs> the housing prices are, is blowing up yeah and it's not I, I think you know generally speaking people thought that covid would cause even that to crash like the there you know it wouldn't be good so and there the the housing market is still booming and so on and you know, the media can help and it can hurt, right? And just like you said, you know, it's it's best when you go to the experts. And so somebody out there might be watching what's in the media every day and thinking, oh my goodness, I can't even afford to, I'm not mm-hmm. even going to, like, you know, based on what's going on. What would you say to somebody who's in that position, who's still kind of hesitant about what they should do just based on what they're hearing. Mm-hmm. You know what? Just as I said earlier, mm-hmm. if you have a toothache, you're gonna to check it out, right? Right. Mm-hmm. You, feel a, you, feel a, you feel a pain in your wherever. Mm-hmm. You're gonna get medical advice. Mm-hmm. Don't sit there and listen to the media. The media have an agenda. Mm-hmm. Their, their, their objective is not for you to get rich. Mm-hmm. It's for them to get rich. Mm-hmm. Tell you what they want to tell you for you to continue to listen to them. Mm-hmm. All right? Just an example. Look what's happening in the United States. Mm-hmm. Fox sent in this direction, CNN sent in this direction. Yep. Mm-hmm. Same country, same politics, same everything. 
And it depends on who you listen to because the things you feel in your mind form who you are. Mm-hmm. Right. So if you want to get into the real estate market, find somebody, check it out, call somebody. You'll be more than happy. And just to speak a few, just a, just a, just a, just a, just a little bit on the, the current state of the market. Yes. I don't have good news. One of the things, when you start working with me, I will tell you the pretty truth and the ugly truth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I will tell you the truth. I don't want to tell you something and then next thing you know, something happening. You say, but how come Raymond didn't say that? Mm-hmm. Yes. I got a listing just last week because one guy went to this guy with half of the information. Mm. So when I walk in and I show him this, he said, but was this on the market all this time? I said, yeah, this is what's happening around the corner from your house. So how come this other guy didn't tell me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mark you, I will tell you the truth, but we're looking for solutions. Mm-hmm. That's a key because if you know exactly if you don't know where you are, you don't can know, and where you want to go, you can't plot a route how to get there. Right. Mm-hmm. Guys, real estate in this country is not going to go down. I'm going to tell you a simple example. These people today who are buying a townhouse for a million dollars, you think they're going to sell it for less? <laughs> exactly. No. Exactly. Exactly. It's simple. Do you think they're really going to sell it for less? It is that simple. It is mm-hmm. that simple. Yeah. And if if, if tomorrow you said you, you you see the neighbor sell their house for 1.2 million, are you going to sell yours for 1.1? Absolutely not. <laughs> exactly. So why do you think the market is going to go down? Exactly. Mm-hmm. And and people are listening to the media. Oh, there's a bubble. I've been in real estate for 17 years. I'm still waiting on that bubble. It ain't happening. It's true. It's so much recession. It's on mm-hmm. the- when the market crashed. The only banks in the world that didn't get bailed was the Canadian banking system. Mm-hmm. Everybody else. And, and the reason I'm saying it's going to get worse, Canada is very attractive as a country to live. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. nobody wants to go south of the border anymore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look like me or you, you're walking on the street, your kids may not come back home. Yes, yes. So yes. You want to subject your situation, to your, your position like that to, so you are also subject your kids to that kind of situation where you can easily just jump over the border and, and live a, a little bit safer. It happens here, but yes. then... Yes. Why would you want to do that? Mm-hmm. There's only one factor, and that's political. But there's also the fact that there's some, so much people that were supposed to be coming into the country who, who got approved by the government, by immigration, but they can't travel. Because mm. those people are going to come in right after COVID. Yeah. And they're bringing money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because they're going to ensure that you can, you can be self-sufficient when you just come here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? And... And the next thing again on the global market, believe it or not, Toronto is at the bottom. Even mm. are higher than us. Yes. New York, Canada, Toronto is a is a, is one of the, one of the world's best metropolis. Mm. Largest. No. Why is it then um, our real estate is not at New York, Los Angeles, right. uh, in Australia, Stockholm, Sweden, the global? gotten so small because of the internet and everything else and travel right mm-hmm. want to real estate you now because at the bottom now it's very attractive mm. life is good when you go to the states you can't even buy medication but they come here and get it for free why would, yes why would once again those people from other areas of the world who are maybe muslims or whatever go to the united states where they're gonna where they're gonna stone them and and, and, and why don't you go to canada mm-hmm. and then trudeau says um that they're going to bring in a million immigrants. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. At that point, the best time to buy real estate is 7 p.m. No. on the 16th of May, 2021. <laughs> no, just do it. Just do it. Don't think about it. Well, so just like how you want to find out how to fix your credit or if you, to, you, 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 you have a, a medical problem, you go to the doctor. Find a professional and discuss it. Yes. Yeah, Surprise, absolutely. guys, you're going to be in the market in no time. Absolutely. So on that note, Raymond, what advice would you give to someone who wants to get into home ownership but cannot afford it right now? What advice would you give to them? All right. You see, the affordability could be on a particular criteria. Yes. Because you want to live in Toronto. Mm-hmm. 
No, remember too, you can buy a, you don't have to buy a house in Toronto right now. I said, get in the market anywhere. Right. Let mm -hmm. somebody pay for it for you. Mm -hmm. Pay for a year or two. The equity that's built up there can be your down payment because you cannot save to keep up with the market. Yes. That would be my advice to them. Just get in the market somewhere. Mm -hmm. And even people who are looking to create wealth. Remember? Brampton, Mississauga wasn't like that. I remember people were telling me that they used to take trips to come to Brampton to go to Apple. Apple, Apple one? Top yeah. of the road, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, look what's happening there. They're going to build a huge mall right there. Yeah. Yes. So what you do, you go to Cambridge, you go somewhere just on the outskirts, and you buy there now. In a few years, you can't afford a house right there. Yeah. So get in the market. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two family members come together. Buy something right in the basement. It helps to carry the market. Yes. With, with the bill up there, then you say, you know what? We have enough equity now, so let this person can um, get their portion, and both of you can go off separately and get in the market any which way you can. Mm -hmm. If you can't, if you don't have enough money for the down payment, and you have good, you have good family members because I have to put that in quotes these days. <laughs> yes, that's so true. That that is for them. <laughs> that's you have so good true. family members who are supporting. Supportive, and, yes. Yes, yeah, supportive, and they can say, "All right, I'm going to give you a gift, yeah, on payment." But make sure, make sure you return the gift if you don't want it. Right? Make sure you return the gift. <laughs> 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 yeah, you follow what I'm saying? So if, yeah, you, yes, if yes. you have family members who can help you, whatever you need to do. Yeah. Don't buy that coffee today. Mm -hmm. Yes. Save that money. Yes. Yeah. Giving you cancer. Stop smoking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can be here if you have one to be here. Enjoy yourself still. But you don't need to buy some liquor every day. The guys on the, on the corner, it, it, it is more important to get in the market than hanging on to the bar. You can say, how do the guys and we don't have a drink? Mm -hmm. Yes. Have a, have a one beer. Mm -hmm. I don't know you're good. But save as much money as I can. Right. If you can't have enough, then ask somebody to help you. If you can't, but if you can't find somebody to help you, buy something out of town. But get in. In the market. That's that's so true. And you know what? And I support is 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 needed. Support is needed and support is big, mm -hmm. especially in this country. You know what, Raymond? Like you're the, you're definitely for this business, right? <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, real sell, sell him. No, yes, he's a real salesman, right? Because just <laughs> listening to you, I was like, yeah, man, I would do business with Raymond, <laughs> right? Thank you. What, what <laughs> keeps you going, Raymond? What's your drive? And why do you love to do what you do? Yeah. You know what? I, I don't work for a commission. Yes. I work for my clients. Mm -hmm. See, if you focus on your commission, you're going to shortchange your clients. Mm -hmm. Look at it. Um, I worked with Tamara for so many years. We're still friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you don't work for commission. You work for your clients. Yeah. Yes. What drives me is when I see a happy client. Mm -hmm. So I see myself every day not working for money. I see myself working to solve a real estate problem that somebody's having. Mm -hmm. And that's what keeps me going because I, I'm, I'm, I'm anticipating the day when I'm going to see a happy client. Mm -hmm. That's good. So you have to love people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it's not just, I mean, it's not just real estate, but pretty much anything you're doing, you have to love people. Mm -hmm. Enjoy seeing people happy. Then, that's what drives me every day because I know at the end of it, you know, Tam and Sham is going to be happy. Yes. They're in their new home. And they, when they have their barbecue, they're going to invite me over. Of course, okay. <laughs> some food. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's, 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 it's a friendship, it's a camaraderie. It's, yes. It's, it's, the, it's the togetherness. That's what one of the things that keeps me going. On a day. Awesome. That's what keeps me going, yeah. And I can, I can truly attest to that because I'm telling you, Raymond has another um, uh, has another characteristic that he hasn't talked about in, in the real estate field, and that is patience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, you have to. You have to have that. Because mm -hmm. I'm telling you, even with us as clients, it was months 
And there was not one day that we called and said, okay, or he sent us some listings and he wasn't available to go out with us. Like it took us, it literally took us months. Months. Yes, yes right? I remember so, you said that. Yes, um, it's a level of patience. And as you said, love for your clients and wanting the best result for them, right? Which yes. mm -hmm. provides the best result for you yes. as well. You see, you see, you see, Tamara, if I was focused on my commission, mm -hmm. I would try to push it to the side and go for somebody else that's going to buy today. Yes. Yes. But if you, if, because if you focus on it, and that is why I said to you, the failure rate is 80%. Mm -hmm. People are coming inside there, they are looking to grab and run, and they will shortchange you. Mm -hmm. They will shortchange you because their focus is commission money. Yeah. Cannot be, it has to be your clients. Yeah. Mm -hmm second third and fourth reason why you go out there every day yeah luckily you'll get paid i i, I remember i had i had, I did not even already and at the end of it the guy told me he wasn't happy i gave him back his money mm. i did i gave him back i said to them that you know what if you're not happy I, I don't think i want to spend this commission and i'm going to send it to you i sent it to them and you know they sent it back uh -huh. because they see how hard it, you know you work but uh -huh. To give them because if you're not happy, it doesn't make sense. Sense, yeah, that's so true. Mm -hmm. And um, a, a quick personal story too. I remember when we were house hunting, and um, I saw a house. I don't know if Raymond remember this. Saw a house that I wanted. Yes. <laughs> was it the one around the corner from here? <laughs> and was yes. close to getting it. Yes. And it, the, it didn't happen because somebody else ended up getting it. And I was so upset. Our Raymond said, Tamara, that's not your house. Yes. I'm going to find your house for you. I'm going to find good. the house that you're supposed to have. And no doubt, it's oh, where yeah. we are 12 yeah. years later. And when yeah. we ended up finding the house, I'm like, this is the house. house. It really yes. was the other one. Yeah, it, it, it happens. I... And, yeah. and, and you see what happens, you see, sometimes um, I always say to my clients when they don't get a property, they say, God, have a better house for you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, every time. Yes, so true. I remember, I remember one client who bought a house out in Scarborough and he didn't go, to, sorry, up in Markham and didn't go through. And the following week, we found another house. You know, what, you know what the home inspector said to the guy? Aren't you happy the other house fell through? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Look like at the that. He bought was like, Mwah. Yeah, mm -hmm. personal yeah. personal testimony on that one. Yes, true. Yes, that's great. Raymond, we appreciate your time so much. And I just wanted to find out, you know, if you had to leave one last little bit of advice for the viewers, what would that be um, as we wrap up today? And that again, I could talk on. <laughs> <laughs> because you know what? Um, life is just life and... And um, how you view things is, is in, 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 in the buying of real estate. Only in real estate, it is a cog in the wheel of life. Mm -hmm. Very important one. Because there's two things a person can't live without. Food and shelter. Mm -hmm. Everybody needs shelter. Everybody needs food. If you, if you can't provide it, see the, even the government has to provide it for you. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want a circle life, right? Um, people say a balanced life, right? You want to ensure that you 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 find a place in a in a city called Happy Valley. Mm -hmm. But Happy Valley is not doesn't have a zip code. Mm -hmm. Happy Valley is right inside here. What's in your mm -hmm. heart? Mm -hmm. Yes, and if you live in Happy Valley. Right, and and pursue your goals and your dreams in life, including real estate. You'll have a very good address. A very good address. I love that. I love that. Eh? I love that, Raven. We love that. <laughs> yes. Right. So, so my thing for everybody uh, who is watching this, find an address in Happy Valley, <laughs> one, one that makes you want to go home at night. Yes. And that makes you want to, um, you know, chat and laugh with your neighbors. Mm -hmm. important. Um, real estate is a very important. Wealth is an important part of it. 
you're not going to do the things that you shouldn't do to create wealth because karma is something else. And, I, and that's a different, that's a different um, conversation. Mm -hmm. Having wealth helps you to enjoy some of the finer things in life, the traveling and stuff like that. A key part of any real estate of, of, of any uh, wealth created portfolio would be, have, have to be real estate. Mm -hmm. Real estate is a very tangible asset. You can hold it, you can touch it, you can feel it. Mm -hmm. To give an example, um, not to knock those who are in the money market and stock markets and stuff like that, but when I came to Canada, if you don't have Narkel network in your portfolio, you don't have a portfolio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where is North Hill today? Mm -hmm. It used to be on Dixie, Dixie Road, just mm -hmm. below, just below Clark Boulevard. Mm -hmm. It used to be. Um, uh, some years ago, um, BlackBerry uh, research in motion. The stocks were running for like two hundred and something dollars. That was just like, where is it today? Mm -hmm. Use that money to buy real estate. Mm -hmm. Where would you be today? Mm -hmm. And if I should leave anything with anybody? on your quest to find an address in Happy Valley, build a portfolio, balanced portfolio that includes real estate. Mm -hmm. so not only that, your kids or your family will be happy in their own space. Mm -hmm. Only that because in that space that you live in is appreciating in value. So that's creating equity. And that equity, because a part of Happy Valley is that you're gonna leave a legacy for your children and your grandchildren. Mm -hmm. And that brings the so, contentment. Yeah. So, right. So, but if you're paying rent every day, mm -hmm. creating somebody else's happy valley. Yeah, valley. Yes. That's so true. Yes, yes, yes. They're paying their mortgage. You are giving that money to fly to, to Jamaica to have some steam fish and the white sun. <laughs> Mr. Right. Service, so stop it. Stop that. it, Raymond. Stop it. Oh, not no. today. <laughs> not today, Raymond. <laughs> so, so the, the thing I would say, yeah. the last thing I would say, or uh, you know, is that you don't wait to buy real estate. You buy real estate and wait. And wait. And wait. Yes. Wow. I love that. I love that. I love yeah. it. Thank you so much for spending the time with us today. You've really given us a wealth of information. Mm. Um, some beautiful just life gems as yes. well. And um, we really appreciate you. We just want to let the viewers know that um, your contact information, your business information, the website will be in the description box for the video. And so we encourage them to go to the real estate agent to actually get the information that they exactly. need, right? Right. Yes. Don't go to don't go to the dentist to go get the <laughs> <laughs> But we really appreciate you, Raymond. We thank you so much for taking the time with us today. And we wish you all the very best in all your endeavors. Thank, thank you. you so much, Raymond. And thank you guys for having thank me. Um, it was a pleasure. Um, feel free to call on me anytime. I'd be more than happy to share what I can share. Thank and you. Thank you guys all the best. Thank you. Best as well. May your, may your territories be expanded. We claim that. Thank yeah. you. I mean, you grow beyond even your own expectations. Thank you. We receive that. Thank you, Raymond. Thank you. you are welcome. Okay.